through to 4, that's just 4a, and I take a through to b, ab. That's it. There's no multiplication that you really have to do in that one. You're just taking things and putting them together. But don't you have to add them? No. Why not? You can't. If it was 4a and 3a, I could put them together. Because if I have 4a's and I have 3a's, I get, get 7a. But if I have 4a's and then I'm trying to put an ab with it, they don't mix. You can't put 4a and ab. You can multiply. That we could do. But we can't add. All right, six, three, and then in the parentheses, two plus j. Three, and then in the parentheses, two plus j. All right, so what two things is three going to have to get multiplied by? What two things do I have to carry the three through two? Yeah, three goes through to the two, three goes to the j. 3 times 2, <laughs> 3 times 2 is going to give me 6, and 3 through to the j, just 3j. Alright, negative 5 times parentheses x plus 10. Negative 5, and then in parentheses, x plus 10. So what two things do I have to carry negative 5 through to? Right, I carry x through to x and 10, exactly. So negative 5 to the x, negative 5x, negative 5 times 10, negative 50. All right, 8, finally, I'm mixing it up a little bit. You can see no longer is the variable lonesome. In all the problems we've had so far, it's just been a plain old variable. Right? There hasn't been a number in front of the variable. Now I'm putting a number in front of the variable. So I've got 3, and then in parentheses, 2x plus 3y. 3, and then in parentheses, 2x plus 3y. So, first thing I've got to do is take 3 through to 2x. Now, I'm multiplying. Here's where I can get away with stuff. 3 times 2x, you multiply the number parts together. 3 times 2 is going to give you the 6. And then you've just got x. 6x. So, 3 through to the 3y, we're going to do the same thing. 3 times 3y, multiply the number parts together. That's 9. Got y still. In the middle, remember, stays the sign we had before. Plus, plus. And that's it. So really having a number in front really doesn't change anything for us. It's nothing major. All right. Now, 9 is a little bit different because there's an extra step they want you to practice here. Okay? That's all they want you to work on here. Forget this is here for the moment. Forget that, that negative 5y is there. Okay? Take y through to the 9, y through to the j, do the distributive property to start. Okay, so y through to 9, that's going to give me 9y, good. And y through to the j, that's going to give me yj. Okay, and plus stays in the middle because it's in the middle now. Now, this negative 5y is not in parentheses. All right, it's not in parentheses. So we're just going to leave it alone. Okay. Plus negative 5y. All right, we're not done with this problem, though. All right, we are not done with the problem. All right. 9y and negative 5y are like terms. So I can, maybe if you did some work, you'd warm up. But you're too busy trying to come up with other things to do other than work, apparently. All right, 9y and negative 5y are like terms because they both have y in them. So I can put those together. If I have 9y's and I take away 5y's, how many y's do I have left? 4y. Four. Four so these two together are going to make 4y, and then 
yj can't do anything with that, so that's just plus yj. Now, some of you are probably a little bit hazy on like terms, even though I've done that problem. Okay? So let me go ahead and do example 10 with you, which goes over those like terms and goes over coefficients, because those are separate things that you will see in the homework tonight. Okay, they are in the homework tonight. All right, this problem, 5y plus 9z minus 7 minus 3y, 5y plus 9z minus 7 minus 3y. Again, we've got subtractions here. I want to take a moment and change those into adding the opposite, which is where I'll start. Okay, you can see I've got some things labeled there. And again, these are the things that are in the homework. First thing I have labeled are the coefficients. Coefficients are numbers in front of variables. Five is in front of y, which means it's a coefficient. Nine is in front of the z, that's a coefficient. Negative three is in front of the y, it's a coefficient. Again, coefficient is just a number that's directly in front of a variable. Yes? What's that thing under the like terms? What's it say? Because they both have y. Oh. The other thing they talk about would be like terms. Like terms are things that have the same variable to the same power. In this problem, the only things with the same variables are 5y and negative 3y. They both have y. So those are like terms. That's all like terms. So if I was going to simplify this problem, notice no distributive property here. I'm not trying to trick you. No distributive property. 5y and negative 3y would make 2y. And then the rest of this, I can't do anything with. So it's just going to be plus 9z plus negative 7. 